Okay, we're about to whiten this concrete using muriatic acid. Um, what you have to do first is um, use a power washer. It has to have at least um, 1,600 PSI, which is um, pounds per square inch. As far as pressure coming through the holes, you're not going to get that from your regular tap. So this upgrades the pressure and, and puts a nozzle on it. Um, what you usually do first is you can either mix the acid or, like I did, wash the deck down and then leave a water base down there. And then I will show you um, what happens next. This is um, muriatic acid. It's a um, light base. What it does is it um, whitens the concrete, affects the lime in there. So that's what you want to get clean. Concrete has the lime as the lime acts as the glue. Now, if you see here what I'm doing, if you look at, there's water here already. I've already cleaned the concrete with the power washer to get all the um, dirt that I cut out. Now, what I'm gonna do, let this sit for a minute or two, and I'll take a brush to it. And what that does is it loosens up any other dirt and it gets the, uh, muriatic acid down on the porch. What you want to do is you want to try to brush with the grain of the concrete. When this was poured, when they put the broom over it, it was done in this direction. So this is what you want to do. You just want to make sure you got it all in there. This is not going to hurt your grass, but at the same time, don't pour the whole bottle on it. If you don't know how to do it, go to the direction. I pour it directly in the concrete because I know what, how much water that you need down here to make this effective to get the concrete white. But what I'm going to do is let it sit for a couple of minutes. Let that, if you look at that, it's still reacting with that concrete. Well, the lime and the concrete. Most pressure washers that you get for consumer use, residential use, um, they have a, a directional nozzle built into, into the gun. This is the gun here. This right here. It, it's adjustable. If you look at that, at the end of it, this closes and opens as you tighten it. The water pressure gets less and uh, um, gets smaller and smaller, but then the focus of it is more and more. So you're getting uh, more of a pressure in a smaller area, which is what you want when you want to clean this. So first of all, make sure you have a good GFI plug outside. Make sure that your nozzle is tight. You should not have any leaks. You may have a little bit, but it shouldn't be squirting out. Make sure that the connection for your gun is tight. And make sure that the connection for your hose to the pressure washer is tight. Now I'm going to take this, this gun and go over this.
got a good job. You don't want to have spirals or lines in your uh, concrete, so you want to do this square uh, foot at a time. Lesson how to do concrete. This is Rob. You all have a great day. And um, this, whole, this video will be posted to YouTube. Go to my channel, Robert Carroll, R O B E R T, last name C A R R O L L. Have a great day, and God bless you.